Uh, hello everyone. Today is Thursday, October 1st, 2020. And this is Hostess of Europe and Vernil of Ferry. Uh, today, actually, it has been eight days that I've been discharged from the second hospital where I was just hospitalized for nine, nine days due to the uh, severe gallstone attack I had uh, on uh, Sunday night, September 30th. <clears throat> After my discharge from the hospital, obviously, Miss Elizabeth has offered from the kindness of her heart that I stay in her place temporarily, which is here. And due to the privacy reasons, I'm not going to show you around. <clears throat> Miss Elizabeth and uh, Miss Tatiana, I think they left uh, on Saturday evening, went to a countryside, had some businesses there, and they are going to come back today. So I've been alone <clears throat> for a few days. <clears throat> Although they have a lady that comes and cleans up the house and do the cooking, Faye. She was here two days ago, made second row of some cookings for me, <clears throat> so I didn't have to, I wouldn't have to go through all these troubles to in the kitchen and prepare food for myself, which is difficult given my conditions. Um, I know that in my last video I was supposed to be uh, returning to the uh, unit's yard's office and uh, <clears throat> start camping there again and demand a response to my ongoing situation in this country and end to my prolonged imprisonment in Greece and my immediate resettlement in another country. Uh, and this was supposed to happen on uh, last Monday. <clears throat> but since I had suffered two minor attacks Saturday night, two minor attacks, uh, short-lived each one for half, stayed with me for half an hour. But uh, <clears throat> I had this kind of fever ever since, until yesterday now. Since yesterday I don't have the fever, which could have been due to some kind of inflammation. But last night I, uh, again I had another attack. So the, the reason for me not being able to return, one of the reasons for me not been, being able to return to the unit CR's office and continue my process there as well was due to those two attacks on <clears throat> uh, Saturday night. And uh, or all, uh, even if I was going to go, go there, uh, it will be extremely difficult because, as you might know, the doctors have recommended to uh, for the removal of my blood, gallbladder due to the so many uh, gallstones that are accumulated there. <clears throat> but since I don't want this organ to be removed, and since the stones, from what I understood, uh, are small in size and could be if I follow a, a good natural home remedy, I could get rid of them naturally without necessarily undergoing a surgery. Um, so, uh, and in order to like follow up with the um, home remedy, basically you need to access some stuff. For example, this is the remedy I'm going to drink. Right now, this is hot water. Uh, uh, boiled water actually it's if I go and s stay in front of the UNSCR it would be difficult for me to prepare it and uh, there are some this specific one has some turmeric in it uh, a little small portion of uh, pepper, black pepper some honey one teaspoon of honey and one teaspoon of coconut oil uh, and uh, three teaspoon Oh, this is the maximum that you can add uh, of uh, apple cider vinegar. 
and this is one of the mixed solutions that I'm drinking. This specifically I drink in the morning and other solutions that I have consist of two, um, uh, two or three glasses of um, separately, of course, ap apple juice. Because I couldn't find pure apple juice in Greece, I have one, I found one mixed with pure juice, so I, I am using that one for now. Apple juice and pure juice mixed together, plus two teaspoons, um, two tablespoons of uh, apple cider vinegar and consume, consuming it daily a few times, plus adding or eating as much as apple I can. Uh, so all this, and obviously you're gonna need to go to toilet frequently. And as um, you might know from my previous videos, uh, this was one of the problems I was facing regularly in front of the UNHCR's office. Uh, no one around would have allowed me to use the toilet. Uh, even the hospitals due to the coronavirus, COVID-19 issue which uh, I hear is now again on the rise and um, so if I'm to practice this treatment in a, in a relaxed atmosphere this uh, I think for the time being at least for a, some for a while I have to be away from there um, which is why there which was the uh, yet another reason that I decided to stay here because I could go, it's true that Miss Elizabeth offered, but I could go return to the UNHCR's office and erect my shelter and stay there. Uh, but I obviously I wouldn't be able to do any of those uh, treatment there effectively. <clears throat> uh, besides, uh, I'm also not in a really uh, good condition physically. I lost too much weight. I was on hunger strike for 73 days and um, uh, yeah so I will I will I, I thought I will make I make this video and let you know what is happening because I've been silent for about one week I will continue to uh, continue my protest and I will continue to keep you posted regarding this situation because I mean uh, this is this is what they are doing to me for uh, six years six years and they cannot force me into the cave of oppression I cannot be uh, I will not surrender to oppression even if that leads to a uh, loss of my life they kept me hostage in this country for six years, drained all my resources. They planned for all of this to happen, basically. And uh, I hear most of the people, especially media, they ignore individual cases when the matter of the fact, when they also at the meantime ignore the basic thing, when they have done this to me, to one particular case for six years, and they have tried use all the uh, means uh, within their reach to cover it up. You can know for sure that they have done this to a lot more people. So reporting this case would be, uh, not only would be beneficial to me, but would also be beneficial to so many other people because what they are doing to me obviously is a great evil beyond imagination. Six years, deprived, complete deprivation, as, uh, and they want to starve me to death, cover it up, you know, systematic deprivation and targeted assassination, which uh, things unheard of for six years. A recognized refugee, a beneficiary of international protection, and they are doing all this because I'm asking for a settlement referral from this organization in order to get uh, the hell out of this country. So that's it. I thought I'd make this video and let you know. So if you if you are seeing this and you are a citizen of Europe or Greece and you are concerned about this, 
uh, which I don't know, hopefully you are, please reach out to me, uh, uh, or please just share, comment, like, distribute this video, tell the press, tell the media, if you know somebody in the, uh, any organizations involved in the human rights, in the field of human rights, uh, or have, are defending cases before the European Court of Human Rights, let them know about this particular case. And if you are a citizen of the you know, Canadian uh, Canada, United States or Australia, please uh, let the people around you know about this. Let the government officials, you, your MP in the parliament know about this. Uh, ask them to help for my settlement in their in your country. Uh, as if you can also reach the pub, uh, press media in your own territory, in your own country, please let them know. Uh, uh, if you can also participate yourself in, you know, uh, helping this story uh, hurt, uh, you can also share, like, comment, and uh, that would be it for this video. And this is my solution for this morning I just wake up about like uh, half an hour ago I had to go outside get some lemons and now I prepared my solution and I'm now going to consume it. Cheers! <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye. <clears throat>